So we are here at the Munich Whiskey Fair 2024. Uh, Munich experience with Shelton Almeida from Milk and Honey Distillery in Israel. Yes. Shelton, you're a brand ambassador for, for this distillery, so you can tell us something about it. Right, uh, MNH, which stands for Milk and Honey. So, MNH Distillery, we are based in Tel Aviv. Uh, we are just 10 minutes walking distance from the, from the beach. You see? The whole di uh, idea started off in 2012 when Gal, who is the current CEO, and a few friends go to a bar, uh, get drunk and decide, let's start our own whiskey. You know, it's the best way of starting a, a business. Um, but that was the idea, the initiative, but then it's quite challenging because there wasn't any distillery before. So we're the first distillery from, from Israel today. So what we did was, after all the research, we got uh, Dr. Jim Son on board, and he came up as a consultant and helped us set up. We finished set up in 2014, in 2015, we started distilling uh, at, the, at the current location and we launched the first whiskey only in the beginning of 2020. Right. That was a launch. Okay. So one has to say that the aging of the whiskey in Israel is a little bit faster than it would be in Scotland, wouldn't it? Exactly. I mean, I would say it's about three to four uh, times faster. Uh, but the best way to say it, I always say the best way to say it is the extraction rate from the wood is a lot higher. Yeah. Uh, so you get a lot more flavors in a short time, uh, more oils coming from the wood in a short time. So what's the oldest whiskey you have in, in the warehouses right now? We have some eight years old, eight, nine years old whiskey, but we don't release it. We work at the moment mainly with four years old and five years old in a four inch. That, that's the sweet spot? Yeah, it's a sweet spot. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think it is not only for us, but any whiskey maturing in hotter climates, yeah. five and six could be a yeah. good sweet spot. Right. So you brought something with you exclusively for Germany? Bottling? We do have something exclusively for Germany, uh, as a German exclusive bottling over here, which is uh, exclusively bottled for Kamakash, who's our importer distributor. Nice. This, this one is um, STR cask. STR cask is a signature, it's Dr. Jim's signature. So we'll use a lot of STR cask in our recipe for the core range. Right. That's a second fill STR cask, and it's a good heavy beer as well at 58.5. So not many bottles came here, it's only 320 bottles came in, in Germany. Yeah. And you brought another bottling with you you wanted to present to us? I did actually, this is a very interesting, it's another STR cask as well, it's a very latest release that we do. It's right. a distillery release STR cask, but a global release, and that's a first real STR cask. So, quite more intense, STR as we all know stands for shape, toasted, reach our um, X red wine burrito. So, lovely, big, intense whiskey. Right. Um, Want to have a dram of this? Shall I? Uh, you want to buy a There you go. A lot of wood spice and next bourbon cask. I mean, it's like a, it's SCR would normally give a mix of uh, wine cask and virginal. Look at the color itself. Yeah, and the caps it's color. Does. Just about four years old whiskey. Right. Oh, so how, how big are the casks? Do you know that? This one is a, this one's are the bricks. They are about 223 liters. Right. Okay. It looks gorgeous. I have to try it. And to try it, I have to stop the into the recording and yeah, enjoy the whiskey now for some time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Shelton. Cheers. Have a good one. Bye bye. Yes. Bye.